Hey guys, quick, so just wanted to run through um, a macro that I did to help hopefully extend the life of the battery on my Odin 2. Um, basically, the battery doctor thing I've been using it has the battery going down, I think it's down to like 87% already, and I've only had it since June. Granted, I've used it a ton, but so I built a macro in an app, and I'll, and I'll show you that in a minute, basically to so where it'll turn the charger separation on and off um, based on certain percentages, so hopefully that can extend the life of my battery in the long term. So right now, all right, so 94%. So we're gonna plug in here. If I can find my end of my charging cable. There we go. So we're gonna plug in here. Sorry, I don't have a stand here. All right, so so we got it plugged in. So the way I have this macro written, uh, once the battery hits 95%, um, the pull down will kick in or the macro will kick in and do the the pull down from the top menu and i'll explain all this in a minute once it actually hits because it's always a pain to get it to go up to 95 percent when i'm recording just to because and you're inherently waiting up oh, here it goes so now it's doing the pull down now I'm doing the charger separation second row second to the left there and then back to the app switcher which will hopefully get you back into your game with minimal of fuss and there is also a part of the macro i wrote where it will turn off basically in reverse if you disconnect so hopefully it will disconnect that so it'll go home screen charge separation back off and then flick that back up yep so then and then i just need to write that part back into the macro or it goes back into the app switcher but that's that's how it works and there is another version which i'll show you too to where it'll work when the device is off so that way you know, you plug it in for the night or whatever, and you don't want to worry about it just like burning the battery, not burning it up, but you know, overcharging it and killing the battery. It'll kick the charger separation on, you know, when it's plugged in long term. Hopefully, same for docking too, so you don't have to turn it on automatically. Such is the idea. So I'll show you that next. Okay. All right. Now we're going to do the same thing. Uh, basically, just show hopefully it'll work with the display off. Obviously, it's going to power on real quick, back to 94%. So the, the real key to this whole thing is keeping the services running within Android because there are two separate services you need to make this work um, that are part of the app. Because um, Android likes to turn off services for whatever reason. You, you have to go into the accessibility and turn them on and then it should work. Um, occasionally it turns them off. I think there's a don't kill my app thing. I'm working on that. Hopefully there's a way to keep it from doing it. Um, yep, so here it goes again. So turning on charge separation, it should swipe up and hopefully, yep, back back to, um, you know, the screen being off. So this is ready to charge it overnight or using it as a dock or whatever. Um, although in the case, if you're using it as a dock, you might want to change the scripting so where it doesn't go to the home screen because then that would just turn off or turn off the display. I'm not sure how that works, but so then hopefully this will again, when you unplug, hopefully it will, uh, it'll know better to, uh, Go ahead and turn it off. Yep. And hopefully. Yeah, I'm still tinkering with the macro, but ideally we'd have a final swipe up here and, you know, back to off. That's, you know, so a little tinkering um, and working on the services aspect, but um, hopefully this will help extend the, the life of the, the battery on this thing because I've already gotten probably, God, I, I played through um, Persona three and five start to complete and like four of the trails games which are like 100 hours each and and then whatever else i was playing in the meantime so so this thing's definitely gotten some battery usage already so hopefully that'll help prolong it even though the batteries don't seem to be that expensive on amazon i think they're like 15 20 bucks but i don't know that they're gonna fit so i'd rather extend the life of the battery this one as much as i can so hopefully this will work um obviously there's the um, battery saver feature but that's not the same thing as it being plugged in and hopefully this working so um, maybe I'll do an update if uh, long longer term if this is um, gonna work out but um, yeah hopefully this um, uh, pending I can find a way to keeping the services running with an Android that uh, this will work and uh, extend the life of the battery in this thing okay real quick I realized I didn't really show the uh, application much so I might as well go over that real quick so I've got it in utilities here. Okay. So we've got, um, let's go to the home screen. So we got uh, MacroDroid. So there's a free version, which I think I'm using now. So I think the pay version is like six or seven bucks or whatever it is, but 
So basically within, and I, and I won't go through every step of this. Uh, I think there's a way of actually posting them, so maybe I'll do that. So this is the one for charging separation on and then for off. So, um, and I won't go through every little detail. It's kind of common sense stuff. And you can kind of change what you need to, like in this case, the trigger in this case will be once the battery is uh, over 95% and it's plugged in, which is farther down, which I'll show you. Um, so, and then, you know, if this, so this is, this top one is if the screen is on, so if you're actually using the device. So, you know, keep device awake, wait one second, launch home screen, wait. So again, I put these little delays in there because things get kind of fouled up, especially um, with the swiping, like UI interaction, that's the swiping now from the top. Wait one second, that's the second swipe to get the secondary part of the tray to open the second level. Um, Cause you can't just go back to back. It just gets all wishy-washy. It doesn't really work very well. Um, UI interaction, uh, in this case, 33%, 65%. So that's 33% um, of the way across, 65% of the way down. And you can do it by pixels too, but this was just easier. Um, and then Android shortcut, and this is back to the recent apps. So you can get back to your recent app. So this is the else if, so this is a logic argument for anyone who's ever done any coding stuff. Um, so screen off, so this is the version of that. If the, it's, it's exactly the same thing, except for if the screen's off. So basically it, um, it sets it to home screen um, and it does the exact same thing, the exact same pull downs and clicks, except for in this case, uh, it goes to screen off. And then the wait until trigger power disconnected. So that's where you, I put in the um, part where you disconnect it and it turns itself off. So you kind of have to tinker with this to get it to work the right way. Um, I th apparently I still have some tinkering to do with it to get it the way I want. But, um, and then after this, so this is exactly the same thing, you know, in reverse order to, you know, here's the click again to turn it off. And then here, here's the one for, it's the exact same thing again for the version up higher for when the power is connected. and. Again, you can play around with this and hopefully get it to uh, work for you. But um, yeah, power connected is the only constraint I have. I'm sure you can tinker with that around too, like within certain percentages and all of that sort of thing. So that's that, the auto, I just named it auto charge separation on. And then there's one for off, which again, this is written exactly the same way, except for it turns itself off, just like when it disconnects, except for in this case, I put for when the battery hits 60%. Um, I think mainly because um, that'll still give you some percentage to use it if you forget that the charger separation on is and you pull it and you go to leave the house or whatever and you don't have a completely dead battery. But you don't want it kind of charging up and down, you know, at 70, 80, 90% all the time because it apparently that's much harder on the battery to be charging, you know, it's such high at the upper echelons of a battery. So same with your cell phone. If you're constantly charging it from 90, 100% all the time, you're, you're taking a lot out of it. Um, so this way I let it kind of tick down a little bit more. And then, I mean, hopefully I'll probably notice it. It's unlikely it's gonna be just sitting around to where I don't notice it anyway. So that's that. So hopefully this will work. I, I think it still needs some tweaking, but I'm hoping that this will, um, you know, get me there. So this is what you can tell when the services are running. This is the one for the battery too, which has been useful. It's actually kind of how I figured this all this out to, that I should do this because the, you know, maybe I'll go ahead and show you that. So the battery health um, on mine, uh, da, da, da. there's a yeah see you can see there's only over a few weeks like we're already kind of getting down here in terms of battery capacity um I forget where it was battery health test yeah, as a yeah 40 it's a 5,000 milliamp battery and I'm down to like 4,500 already 4,600 so um over the course of you know five six months granted it's a ton of use but anything it can do to prolong that battery long term all the better which is kind of how I started um, looking into this, so uh, just something to check out, you know, if you're concerned about that too. Okay, thanks.